hello and welcome back to another video in this video we will be taking a look at how we can upload a website or a web app onto cloud in this video i will be using oracle cloud infrastructure but the process is same for aws or gcp or any other cloud provider so i will be using three pieces of software first putty second putty gen and the third one win scp so the putty we will be using for an SSH connection and putty gen for converting the key which we get from the cloud into a format that putty likes and finally win SCP to transfer files. So this video is divided into three parts. In part one, we will be creating a compute instance which is same as EC2 instance in Amazon AWS. In second part, we will run our web application on the same server which we created in part one. And in part 3, we will install Nginx and create a reverse proxy so that our web app which is running on the server is accessible on the internet to everyone and anyone can visit our website or web API. So the reason I use Oracle Cloud is because it provides a free tier in which you have a 4 cores and 4 MPA cores and about 24 gigs of RAMs. Uh, and with that, it also provides about 200 gigabytes of uh, storage which is in my opinion the best free tier option the only problem is if you create a free tier account and then try to allocate those resources into an instance you won't get any resources uh, because it gives priority to paid users uh, so what you can do is just uh, upgrade your account to pay as you go and then use the same resources you won't be charged anything and you still will be able to use those same free resources Okay, let's start off by creating a compute instance. Uh, let's change our image shape. We want an Ubuntu and for uh, shape we will take Ampere cores. Uh, let's take two Ampere cores. So this estimated cost is uh, buggy uh, because you won't get charged anything here if you are within the free tier. Okay, so we have our network here. So let's create a new virtual network. So for CIDR, you can check out this website. This helps to map out your network. Now let's uh, save our private key and public key. We don't really need our public key, but let's save it. Okay, now we have our key. Finally, we will be using uh, in transit encryption. Let's create our instance now. Now let's update our ingress and egress rules. These are basically inbound or outbound rules of uh, Amazon AWS. Let's add an ingress rule. Uh, we will allow port 80 here. So port 80 is for HTTP. Let's add one more for HTTPS. We I won't be using HTTPS in this video, but let's add it. If you don't have port 22 allowed, then add that as well. But I already had that. So let's go to our instance, copy our IP address. Okay, now let's go to Putty Key Generator. Here we'll select our, uh, we'll load a private key and select the key which we downloaded. Then we'll do save private key. This will basically convert that key into a PPK file. Now we can use that PPK file to connect to this uh, instance. So here we'll do our user which is Ubuntu at our IP. Uh, this is slightly different in AWS. Then we select our uh, private key.
let's name this youtube save it and then open accept the connection and we are connected to our instance so my web api is in rust but if you want to deploy let's say node then you can install node instead of rust or with pm2 and then uh, use that to run your project or let's say if your application is in flask then you can install python and uh, gunicon to run it in this part our aim is to just run the application on a certain port on our local host so my current web api i will be running it on localhost 3000 and in part 3 i will create a reverse proxy to make it public first let's update all our packages so sudo apt get update and sudo apt upgrade after that we'll install rust i will be deploying my rust api which i created in earlier videos so after installing rust i'll just set the path and then we should have our rust up and running uh, i'll also install this uh, build essentials without this uh, the Rust will give me linker errors. Next, I am installing Postgres. You can use any other database as well, uh, SQL, Mongo. So this will be our database. You can use uh, something like RDS, but I am using a database within the EC2 instance or within the compute instance. Then we'll just create the database and create a user and set its password. Finally, let's grant all the privileges to our user. Check if our database is there or not. So our database is there. Now let's open up win SCP and transfer our project to the server. So in win SCP, you can just go to tools and import size and import all the size that are there saved inside our party. Now let's open up a connection to our YouTube instance. So this is the project that I will be deploying. So I won't be uploading this target one. Uh, these are the build files. This will get compiled again. So, and it is really large in size. So let's create a new folder Rust and copy everything other than uh, migration and our uh, target folder. After copying the, all these files, create we will create our uh, migration folder and copy everything inside, everything that we have inside our migration except for target. Oh, so here instead of car cargo.toml I copied cargo lock so let's remove cargo lock okay now we can close our win scp let's go back to our terminal here we have our uh, rust folder showing up so let's cd into it and uh, update our dot env file So here comes our username and password, so which we set to opticode and opticode. And finally, at the end, we'll update our database name. Let's save it and then we can, and then we can do cargo run.
okay so we got this error uh, password authentication failed so uh, so let's check our dot env okay so i have mistyped the password so let's fix that also let's change the uh, database name uh, keep it all in small case after fixing that uh, i reran the command cargo run re release and uh, it worked just fine then we'll do control z to stop it and then we will do bg to send the process to the background now our uh, cargo run is in the background and uh, we can close this terminal also without any problems now let's install nginx to create a reverse proxy now we need to create a file inside our uh, sites available so you can just copy paste this uh, command which i'm showing so inside uh, sites available uh, if you are uh, trying if you have a domain then you can use your domain otherwise just use default so i will be deploying it using a domain so i'll put my domain here now i'll copy paste this code you can you will get this inside the description or uh, i'll put a link to a repo which has all this so here in server name i am using my domain name but if you don't have a domain you just want to use your ip then just simply put up your ip so this is an example of how you can just give your uh, ip of the server and it will work fine uh, also in uh, po proxy pass uh, we have the location where our website is running on a local machine so local host 3000 is where my axum project was running on okay after that we'll create a sim link so just copy paste this this will create a sim link uh, to sites enabled finally we'll restart our nginx and let's check our status so if this status is active and running which means everything is fine but if it is not then probably you messed up in some part of this video and you might need to check it again now one more thing uh, i have to update this ip table for port 80 otherwise it won't work uh, but if you are on aws you probably don't need to do this but you might need to uh, allow port 80 in your firewall use you can use uh, ufw allow http for that now let's go to cloudflare i have my uh, dns set in cloudflare i'll set my ip of the server and after about an hour it should work here i am updating my domain optico.prakasing.online and if i send this request You can see I'm getting an error, but this isn't custom error, which I created in that in that web API. So, so everything is working fine and our web API has been deployed successfully. So that's all for this video. In the description, there's a link to my Discord. If you have any troubles, you can hit me up there. And please give a thumbs up if you like this video and do subscribe.